So welcome to my class and in this we are going to do the chain effects. What are the chain effects of the shifts in demand? So how, how many types of shifts have we studied? Increase in demand and decrease in demand. So what will be the impact on the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity when there is an increase in demand and when there's a decrease in demand on a given supply curve? So basically we are going to do that. Now look at this. So let's take the first one. Uh, the question could be explain the chain effects of increase in demand that is a rightward shift or demand curve on equilibrium price and quantity without change in supply. So what we see, let's just take the figure. Uh, let's start from the initial situation of equilibrium point E where equilibrium price is OP that is demand is equal to supply is equal to OQ. The demand curve D1, D1 shows increase. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do the D1, the, the orange colored demand curve. So that shows increase. Now increase in demand shifts the demand curve from DD to D1, D1 to the right. This creates excess demand. Can you see that E, that is uh, EF1 from equilibrium at the same price more is demanded at the given price OP. Since the consumer will not be able to buy all they want to buy at this price, there will be competition among buyers leading to rise in price. As the and at F1 there is no supply. The suppliers are not ready to supply that much. So what happens is as the price rises, demand starts falling from D1, D1 and supply starts rising along the supply curve as shown by arrows. So this change change will continue till demand and supply are equal at E1. So there will be a new equilibrium by a series of expansions and contractions. So upward movement on the supply curve will show in expansion of supply and an upward movement on the demand curve will show contraction of demand till a new equilibrium is reached at E1. So the price rises from OP to OP1 and the supply rises from OQ to OQ1. So this is the chain effect of increase in demand on a given supply curve. So this is when the demand curve shifts rightward, equilibrium price as well as supply will increase that we can see. All right, now we will take the leftward shift. Now look at this, look at this diagram. Now in this, we see that again, uh, easy, let's start from the initial situation of the equilibrium point of E in the figure where the equilibrium price is OP and the demand is equal to supply is equal to OQ. And now we are going to talk about D2 which shows the decrease in demand. That is the effect, what is the effect of leftward shift of the demand curve or decrease in demand? Or when demand curve shifts leftward, that is when demand decreases, equilibrium price as well as quantity sold that is supply also uh, falls as shown on the figure and how is it so it's explained with the help this i'm going to see the figure while i talk when i'm going to explain let's talk about the chain effects of decrease in demand so decrease in demand shifts the demand curve from d dd to d2 d2 leading to short demand shortage of demand, less demand, to, that is EF2 at the given price OF. So there's a decrease in demand, right? Now, at OP price, there's a decrease in demand, which we can see from E to F2. Since firms will not be able to sell all what they want to sell, there will be competition among sellers leading to a fall in price. Now, as the price falls, Demand starts rising along D2, D2 and supply starts falling along the supply curve as shown by the arrows. 
again there will be a series of expansions and series of contractions which are shown here by these moments this change will change will continue till demand and supply are equal at new equilibrium point e2 and the price falls falls from op to op2 and supply from falls from oq to oq2 so once again just have a look at the arrows now what happens is that you see that the downward movement on the demand curve shows expansion of demand and the downward movement uh, on the supply curve shown by the arrow shows contraction of supply so new equilibrium is established at e2 which will bring down the market price to op2 equilibrium price will come to op2 and the new equilibrium quantity will be oq2 so when you get a question like this you must explain the chain effects and the question that you get is uh, one of these what will happen to the equilibrium whether when there is an increase in demand or if they just say what when the change in demand then you have to give both increase and decrease in demand both